So here we have Giant's Propel Advanced Pro 2, and this is Cycling Plus's Bike of the Year 2015 Best Aero Bike. Now that might not come as that much of a surprise, seeing as last year's Propel was our favourite aero bike too, but there are a few small differences this year that we think makes this even more of a worthy winner. So what we really, really love about the Propel is that although it's an aero bike and wind tunnel tests you know, can give you all sorts of figures on just how quick it is compared to the competition, etc, etc, the best thing about it is that Giant haven't just gone down the route of making something super slippery, super aero at the expense of anything else. It shares the same tight, aggressive geometry as their pro race bike, the TCR, but it also seems to have blended in the comfort and smoothness that we love from Giant's Defy. Giant designed a bike for the rider and for the riding experience, not just for a wind tunnel. When you get out and ride this bike on the road, you can really, really feel that. Historically, what's been the downside of such an evolved frame as this, and especially one that has so many proprietary parts, like the seat post, like the specially designed brakes, is that takes up a huge amount of the budget for the price of a bike. In the past, that, what that's meant is that Giant have had to compromise on just usually specking the bike with effectively training wheels. Wheels that you'd be happy using day in, day out, but when it came to actually racing the bike, you'd definitely need something else. It's great to see this year that Giant have included their PSLR1 alloy carbon hybrid deep section wheel. These wheels are designed by Giant, built by DT Swiss, so you've got really nice quality hubs going on. They're pretty good in crosswinds, you don't get buffeted, you don't get pushed around, and they just feel super smooth. And it's worth remembering that if you bought these wheels aftermarket from your local Giant dealer, they'd set you back £1,200 for the pair, which is a big chunk of the overall bike's budget. So elsewhere on the bike, we've got the aforementioned SLTI brakes, which are, again, designed by Giant to perfectly complement this frame, built by TRP. Now, the mini V style of these brakes means that you get a really, really good positive feel at the lever. The throw does feel a little shorter than the equivalent standard Shimano brake. There's less neutral play in the lever before the braking actually starts, but it's something you adjust to really, really quickly. We really like that super positive feel. So when it comes down to the drivetrain itself, Giant have gone for the full Shimano route, so on this bike we've got full 105. The gearing choice that Giant have given us on this Propel is actually a really, really good compromise between those who want to go out and race and those of you that want the bike for more kind of day ride, sportive duties. So up front you've got the 5236, or as is colloquially known, the Pro Compact, and then out back you've got an 1128. That gives you a really, really nice top end. It gives you a bike that's potentially very, very fast. 5211 is as a bigger gear as any of us are ever going to want to turn. But then at the bottom end, the 3628 will get you up most climbs more than comfortably. At two and a half thousand pounds, some people might be going, oh, you know, I'd expect Ortega for that sort of money. But again, that all comes back down to the quality of the frame set that you're getting here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with 105. It's a truly, truly brilliant group set. So I mean, when you're looking at this bike, you know, a lot of you are probably going, oh, that looks a bit weighty. The oversized nature of these aero tubes, big deep section wheels, etc., etc. This large test model, it tips the scales at eight kilos, which really isn't that bad, not that bad at all. It's not the heaviest bike in the whole of the test by a long shot, but it's certainly not the lightest. We do feel that the, the, the kind of the aero benefits you get and the sheer feel of speed when you're riding this bike, you soon forget about any excess that it's carrying. I think a lot of people are quite wary about aero bikes and you think that to gain all this speed, to gain this aero advantage, you are gonna lose some comfort. That's where the propeller excels and that's why it keeps winning our top awards in that this is one of the first of the new generation of aero bikes that has mastered getting an aero shape but maintaining the comfort that we all want and all expect. In fact, we go as far as to say that the Propel has set the standard for what aero bikes need to be. We're already seeing bikes achieving similar things but they're far, far more expensive. Super bikes like the Pali ESX, they designed that bike with aero in mind but comfort was at the heart too. And it's a good thing to see. Just because a bike's much, much faster, it shouldn't mean it shouldn't be really enjoyable to ride.